thanks for joining me. What we've got today is a little treat for the city bug. All the way from Poland, straight off of eBay, we've got this beautiful red spoiler. We'll get it out of the packaging. It's well wrapped up. It's really well wrapped up. Well, that were a challenge, wasn't it? But there it is, look. It don't look too bad. It's got a nice grey primer on it. Ready for paint. We'll get some top coat on that and then bang it on the car. Let's have a look, see how it's going to fit. So this is the back of the car. This little fella here is going to sit on there like that somehow. It's a bit tight, it's a bit tight, but uh, I'm sure we can manage to we'll get it stuck to that. There you go, that's going to look quite nice, isn't it? We'll get some Bondo on this, it's just literally bonded with some PV sticky window screen sealant. We'll get it painted, we'll get it stuck on. Let's crack on, let's do the full video. So we've got the spoiler on the table and we're just gonna give it a quick flatten off just to make sure we've got no imperfections. It's got a couple of little bits where the paint's picked up on it. We need to get rid of this dodgy sticker on the back. in it just a bit of cardboard just to base that on got some wet and dry this is a 600 grit just fold that over a couple of times just give that a dip in the water and then we'll have a quick look at this That looks good enough now to get a base coat of the metallic silver on. So we've got to do two coats. We've got to go over it with a base coat and then we'll go over it with a clear coat. Right, we need the paint coat. So if we pop the door open and just come down here and you see there's the plate and at the bottom there, colour KTB. Now I'm going to be using a spray gun, but if you haven't got one, you can use these spray paints. Links in the description off of Amazon. So here we go. Let's get the... Uh, paint on the go we're going to mix them up and get them into the spray gun got some nice silver metallic there look we'll give it a good stir make sure it's well mixed up got the old faithful screwdriver there look i pop it into my little uh, paint mixing tub we've got to mix this with a bit of thinners That lid's on nice and tight. All right, and we'll mix up 50 50 with this. So we've got 50% paint and 50% thinners. So we'll get that in there. Now I'm mixing quite a bit here, which will all become clear in the next video. And we'll get um, mix. I'll be making, but uh, there's enough here to respray the car up. Straighten the gun. Like 
so. Alright, let's get out to the uh, spoiler. This gun is the uh, SATA HVLP. Um, it's fantastic and it runs at about 40 PSI, so it's really low pressure, not a lot of overspray. And we'll just give that a nice, nice wafting, nice even coat. It's a bit awkward to spoiler because of the shape of it, you know, but um, we'll try as best to get it, get it good. I could have hung it up, but um, I thought I'd just give it a go on the table. I don't mind standing it on its feet because they're unseen anyway, so... Uh, nice even coat, like I say. I'll try and get it all over it. There's some nice long drags on it as well. Like I say, links in the description for the aerosol cans. If you haven't got a spray gun, you can do both the base coat and the lacquer with spray guns, uh, with spray cans, and it looks, uh, and you should get a nice finish. Just finish it off on that side, get that underside coated over. Oh, that looks nice. Quite pleased with that. I think we've got most of it covered. <laughs> Let's let that dry up and then we can put some lacquer over the top. Right, so now we've got to mix up the lacquer, which is a little bit different. It's a bit of a bit of a calculation on this one. I've got the scales, I've got a plastic jug. I want to make 200 millilitres of lacquer, but what you've got to do is mix in thinners, hardener, and lacquer together. It's on a uh, oh, blue. So the calculation is four parts lacquer, two parts hardener, one parts thinner. So for 200 millilitres, we're going to use 28 mil of thinners, 56 of hardener and the rest is going to be lacquer. And that's very close, it's about 196, but it's close enough for me. So let's get that going on. So we go with the thinnest first. We'll try and get that in as close as we can to 28. Which is easier said than done, because I'm going to get it all over the... Oh, it's going everywhere. I have to destroy your scales. Some in there. 20, 25, yeah, 20, 29. That's close enough for me. Okay, so now we've got to take that up to 56 with hardener. There we go, that's pretty close. And then we're getting it all over the scales. Let's pop the lid back on that. And then the rest of it is going to be the, the lacquer. Just over. It's pretty close. Okay. Let's give that a good stir. Get the scales out of the way. Get that into the gun. Oops, stays it. And go out to the job. Such a fail. You'll understand, like I say, when you see the next video, why I didn't move the camera. But yeah, I'm just spraying the lacquer on here, just wafting it on, nice and even all over. A few squirts later. So we've got the spoiler here, and if we just go for a mock-up on the car, you can see there it just it just a little bit of tension on that hinge. And if you look at the base of that, you can just see where it's catching on that edge there. So what I do is I just take a small amount off both sides with the uh, you can either use a file, I'll use the little Milwaukee grinder, and uh, hopefully it'll just sit a bit better on the car.
going to take too much off because it's going to be hollow and um, we don't want to go through the fiberglass it's now staying on itself it's just got a little bit of tension there just enough to make it grab it's not putting too much on it that's a lot better isn't it look it's actually staying there itself so now if I get the bond on it it's going to hold a couple of bits of tape around it very nice and in fact I say that's pretty that's pretty perfect so you can see there I've just took a, a small piece out of the back of that one there and again on this side, just a, a small fragment outside there. So I'm using today is this power adhesive. Wow. This one's Terrason, made by Henkel. Really good stuff. Glue window screens and all sorts in with it. Um, let's get it in the gun. I'll put links in the description for all of this stuff. And then pop that there. Something like that. And then uh, it should start to come out. got like balls in the end to uh, soak up the the moisture but here it comes look so let's get this somewhere where we can work on it and we want to get a nice even amount of gunk in there I'm gonna start in the middle work my way around Um, and then a good splodging down there now the chances are this is going to go out and come out everywhere when I put it on so I've got to be a bit careful with the blue roll ready to mop up any any bits Just to stop it dribbling everywhere. I'll pop it in there a second. Let's get some more up here, ready for mopping up. Make sure I've got none on my fingers. I want to pick this up, otherwise it's going to make a right mess of everything. Right, here we go. Let's spin that round and lower it into place. Oh, it's glooping, glooping, glooping. Oh, it's coming out everywhere, look. Not too fussy, though, because we can clean up. We can clean some of it out. Get my finger in there and just put some of that back. Like there is loads in there. Got it on the spoiler now. Back in it. Just push that down. So it's really sticking wet right already. Just try and get it off that bit there. I've just got it on it. It's coming off not too bad, look. I think of is once it's down if there is any sticking out that I don't want I can cut it away with a knife once it's gone off 
So don't get too hung up on um, excess. You just don't want to get that much on there that it goes in the hinge. Right, that there is down. It's down there, it's down there. Give it a really good push up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, I'm happy with that. And you can see it's all oozed out around the edge. <laughs> that stuck really well. Okay, let's get some tape on it just to hold it in place. I'll get me, take my gloves off because I've got gunk on those and I'm gonna get it everywhere if I'm not careful. Just wipe that bit off. Oh, look at that, got it on the top now. Oh, just wipe that off of there. Wipe that off of there. Bit under there, look. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got it off of all the bits there that I don't want to see it. Tape on air to hold it in place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pop the, I'll pop this up now, so that it's level like that, and then we'll have a faff with the tape, see if we can get it to stick on in some way that's not pulling it left, right. You know, trying to something that hold. It's quite tricky to try and figure out how to get this tape to um, pull in the right direction. But I think if I go from the underside like that, stick that to the side of the window, just put a little bit of bubble wrap on the spoiler itself to stop it sticking to the spoiler and then it should grab on it a little bit and just pull it downwards if I can get that about right. Fade that underneath and I think that's going to just about do it. If I can get that underneath and then back under and stick it under the glass. Oh, without... Oh, look at this, it's come off this side a bit, look, doing that. Oh, that's got it. That's got it, better. I think if I do it, get that on there, and then do this side, we should yeah, be about right. Better. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's try and do the same on the other side. Good. Not a hundred percent sure why I'm putting these two bits on here, but um, I thought at the time I was going to do it, do something. So that's that one on there, and I do the same the other side, and jobs are good. And So let's just leave that and let it cure. Give it a few hours and see what it looks like when we're done. Okay, okay, okay it's been on. The sealant's gone pretty semi-hard, so I'm ready to take the tape off. Shall we uh, whip it off and hope it don't fall off? And hope the paint don't come off as well, that's the other thing. Oh, yeah, that's good. First bit of verted there. Let's get this off the bottom. What's it gonna look like? Is it gonna look any good? I'm 
slam the boot too hard. any faster. Got a bit of downforce on the back, that'll be holding the road like a, uh, like a little go-kart. Fantastic. then uh, drop me a little thumbs up like and subscribe thanks for watching